really thought that being an athletic trainer was fun. I enjoyed what I saw in the athletic training room when I was in high school. I definitely had an interest in medicine and in helping people. She's poised, extremely professional, caring, compassionate, uh, wants her students to succeed, leadership. She's influenced some of the finest athletic trainers in the profession. In turn, they have gone on to other healthcare professions and educated others. And as a result of her high ethics and standards, she's totally impacted healthcare and athletic training. My students inspire me every day. I have been at Central Michigan for 25 years, and so I've graduated over 600 students. And to watch those students pursue their dreams, to become successful at what it is that they want to do and practice the way that they want to practice in athletic training is just exciting. Not only what they learn in the classroom, in the laboratory, and in her case on the ball fields or the, or the courts, and she cares about them as individuals. Professional development, career path, but also personal development. And Renee Shingles embodies the uh, perfect faculty member who cares about all of those things. My mentors, they showed me by their example the importance of giving back to the profession. I wanted to follow in their footsteps in that way. Dr. Shingles' work with all folks is one-to-one -one in the best way. She's concerned about them physically, mentally, and also understands the nuances that they bring culturally with them as an individual. And if you look at her activities that she has done through all the years, it's, it's all about being involved, is taking a leadership role and doing the right thing, and both for the student, for Central Michigan, for the athletic training profession. Through all the work she's done with both her research, her presentations, her workshops, she's raised a level of awareness and sensitivity to cultural issues with the athletes and the patients that we treat. She is just really good at what she does. Her compassion, patience, and attention to detail make her a great athletic trainer. To my knowledge, I will be the first African-American woman to enter the NATA Hall of Fame. And I don't want to be the last. I hope and I pray that the women who are with me and behind me will also get involved so that I have the opportunity to someday look back and see the next group that's coming behind.